Hi guys, welcome to the quick review of this OK Pro Power Station. Officially, it's called a portable solar generator. It doesn't have much to do with solar, but it's suitable for a solar panel, of course. I'm going into that later. So, in general, uh, I have been using this thing now for a couple of days. I have tested almost everything, and so I'm going to let you know if this uh, really works. Uh, how it works, what the advantages are and what the disadvantages are. So the listing price on Amazon is very attractive. It's uh, way below $200 and for a power station with such a capacity it's rather rare that we can buy this uh, at a such a cheap price. And the second thing is that with such a capacity usually power stations are much bigger and heavier bulkier and this is a really nice small one you can see uh, my hand as a comparison this is uh, pretty small uh, looks also nice i mean we see a lot of uh, totally outdated uh, old days uh, power stations still on amazon and this is a really really nice one really beautiful one so what are the advantages and the disadvantages here so definitely one advantage is the low price and the size so these are two uh, very positive facts but we have also a lot of other nice features uh, regarding the power but there's also this really nice light i'm starting with this light here when we push this button for three seconds uh, the light will turn on automatically i'm going to turn down the light here inside a little bit so you can see this much better so i think you can see it more or less but the camera has a little bit of problems to catch all the nice colors uh, in total there are around 120 different colors and if you have found your favorite color you can just stop it with a one push and then it keeps in the same color if you want a different color you can uh, just click again and then it will continue to change color and then you can stop it again so you can do this uh, 100 times uh, or as much uh, as you want really really nice one i mean you cannot change the brightness but you can definitely change the color so but there is no other light this is the only light which we have there's no real uh, flashlight or so but we have a lot of possibilities regarding the power we have two full 110 outlets and we have them even with the uh, grounding port the thing is with such uh, power stations uh, there's no real grounding of course i mean there's a hole you can use that but there's no real grounding you have to be careful if you use that like with a uh, mini fridge or so uh, just do it on your risk you have to know what to do i mean as long as you are just using safe things like a laptop computer usually tv those things which also have uh, usually plastic housing there's no much uh, of a risk but if you are using something with an engine and uh, like metal case or so i would be careful i mean it has nothing to do with this uh, manufacturer with this brand with this thing here with this device it, it it's absolutely same thing with all these devices just be a little bit careful uh, we also have this 12 volt yeah we have to be careful when we touch this thing so i'm always turning on and off the light we have this full 12 volt car adapter if you have uh, such a plug here for any device you can use that here we have also many usb ports we have uh, four in total three times usb a uh, five volts 3.1 amps i've been testing this thing with up to 15 watts and it has been delivering full power absolutely no problem here we have even quick charge it's no pd i've been checking for pd it's no pd it's quick charge only so one thing i'm going to show you in real life is this quick charge so you can see it's no fake no scam no nothing it really works what we have to know we have to turn the power on manually it's not an automatic thing which you have with a with a power bank sometimes no matter if it's the uh, usb or the high power 12 volt or whatever we have to turn this thing on here with the on thing and you can see the display here as long as you can see this 
uh, it's a nice screen you have all the information which is needed you can see the wattage and the, uh, you can see the hours which are remaining so I'm starting this trigger here so you can see here it's checking for all the compatible currents uh, voltage wattage everything you can see uh, that it supports quite a lot almost everything up to 12 volts but definitely not higher there's no 20 volts or so but there's definitely quick charge uh, a lot of support here so now i'm going to test the ac power with a large fan here and of course we have to turn it on again and also the ac power you can see here there's a small sign here it's a little bit hard to see probably from the camera and there's already some consumption of course maybe from the fan i mean by the way there's a fan uh, here in the back which is usually turning on when we are using uh, high power I mean AC power uh, apart from that it's not working I have never heard the fan working so usually it's a very quiet device not even when charging with AC power it hasn't turned on so only when using AC power and what's really really nice uh, what I really like is the hours you can see uh, I mean it's not completely uh, full I've been just charging this with solar just a couple of hours ago it's about uh, maybe 75% uh, percent full and you can see when we are using 3 watts it would uh, run for 56 hours this is really nice so you can see you can plan uh, your day ahead or you can uh, plan your charging so we turn this thing on plug it in and uh, we turn on the fan unfortunately it's going to be a little bit loud uh, but you can see then how much wattage it will consume and the change in hours. So I have it on full power here maximum which I can get uh, in this fan. I mean it has nothing to do with this thing here. As you can see with about 79 watts it would run for three hours which like this definitely confirms the uh, wet hours uh, which are inside and it's really a lot I've never seen uh, so much wet hours inside such a small device and really works the only limitation is the peak output I mean we have a normal uh, maximum of output which is 200 watts and peak is 300 watts and you shouldn't use more otherwise probably it will trigger some kind of breaker I mean the 200 watts is some limitation it's not crazy high but it's also not crazy low there's a, a, a decent amount I would say you can really run a lot with 200 watts of course not a blow dryer or so but you can still run a lot even a mini fridge or so absolutely no problem so uh, for most situations I would say this is uh, still suitable then another thing which people usually want to know and that's uh, about pass-through charging so if the device can be charged and used as a charger at the same time and it's possible yes but limited it's not possible for AC power it's just uh, working for DC power we can test this here so you can see it's charging and when we have this thing here plugged in and we start the thing it's not charging but there's a reason why it's not charging even though the panel is on it's actually not turned on so we still have to turn it on you can hear that and you can also see that so it's definitely working you can see here uh, we have definitely power on this device you don't have to be worried you just have to turn the thing on and it works but it's not working for uh, AC power and to test this I've brought this charger here so we also turn it on here and we try to activate the AC power and you can see it's not happening here no matter what I do I can press here and here again it's not going to turn on the AC power unless I remove the thing here and turn it on again and activate the AC power and only then it will work and at this uh, situation we can also hear how 
uh, loud or quiet the fan uh, is here so I'm turning this thing around and you can see if we don't use too much power the good thing is even though we are using AC 110 volts this fan is first thing it's not very loud and second thing it's not running all the time it's just uh, running every now and then of course i guess if you were using uh, 200 watts or even peak 300 watts it would be running more frequently so you can see i'm using currently 75 watts ac power and it's not even activating the fan so that's really cool 75 watts or so this could even be enough to run a laptop or so and it wouldn't turn on the fan this is really amazing so definitely one of the most quiet uh, of such devices i'm going to show you the whole device uh, everything on the side there is not much again there is just the fan here in the back some description some specs again yeah you have to uh, be careful not to touch the sensor buttons when you do that but but of course yeah usually you're not going to do such things as i do and here we see the thing at the bottom there's enough cooling definitely a good idea and the soft rubber feet which keeps it safe uh, in a good safe place and it's not moving around at all which is also important it has this nice handlebar here uh, yeah i think it's really well designed all over so uh, regarding the output light everything uh, nice so far uh, when we look at the input here i have connected it to the ac power and here we have the input you have to turn the camera a little bit higher so here's the input and we can see the wattage i mean how many watts are coming in what we are not seeing is how many hours it would take to fill up the power station some of the power stations have this feature but uh, you can do the mass but it's not too difficult based on the charge and the wattage you can do the rough uh, calculation how long it would take in this case it would take about another hour or two but you can also use the 12 volts to charge and you can use uh, up to 18 volts from a solar charger to charge and the really convenient thing is it's everything here in just one uh, outlet in one port here and i've been really doing that just a couple of hours ago i have a 120 watts solar panel actually what we uh, see in the description here yeah by the way i'm going to show you that as well after that it could be helpful yeah when we check in the instructions it says uh, only up to uh, 100 watts my solar panels can deliver up to 120 watts on 18 volts it hasn't been any problem it just takes what it can uh, feed into the batteries so from my 120 uh, watts panel there have only been uh, between 40 and 45 watts been feeding into this a power station so it just says okay that's the amount which i'm able to consume and the rest i'm i'm, I'm just like uh, rejecting so there's no risk uh, that it could be hurt that's a really good thing i was a little bit scared about that because it's a really powerful solar panel but nothing happened the uh, charge really stayed between uh, 40 and 45 watts and if you do the mass uh, it, it's about 2.5 amps which is also stated in the description so everything uh, suits perfectly to the listing and uh, to the description so i'm really really very happy with that everything works really as intended as uh, described and so as, as a final step i'm going to show you this instructions manual if you want to make a better buy decision or you have used or you just lost the instruction uh, i think these are really helpful information i hope the camera will focus nicely on everything so you can read everything just go to the highest resolution usually 1080p and then put it on pause on every page so you can read everything so that's the most important part here the specification especially regarding input 
and output and that's it and we can see it comes with an 18 months uh, warranty so absolutely perfect there is really not much to complain about this thing really nice device and i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out or the drive from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time